Hello there everyone, this is Maria and welcome to this channel. If you're not yet subscribed in this channel, please do subscribe. I read books for children and today's story is entitled Pashlik at Turtle Rock. So it's about a family planning together the things that they will throw for the coming year or the bad habits that they're going to throw for the coming year but retaining the best practices from the previous year to the coming year. This is by Susan Schnur and Anna Schnur Fishman, illustrated by Alex Steele Morgan. Now, let's begin. We always start at old log, Annie, Lincoln says, giving me the look. I give him one right back. This year, I'm in charge. I announce, and this year, we're starting at Turtle Rock. It's the afternoon of Rosh Hashanah, and we're on our way to do Tashlik. That's where you go to a place with flowing water, a lake, a river, or creek and you throw in pieces of bread that represent mistakes you've made in the last year. My friend uh, Franning, who lives in New York, does it in the fountain at Lincoln Center. And my brother's friend Matt says he once did it in a toilet. My family has its own tradition. Is everything we need in your backpack? Mom asks. Apple? Yep. Honey, yep. Bread, yep. I've got the pocket knife, Mom says. Follow me, I say, leading them into the woods behind our house. This time of year, the trail is lined with trees, changing colors. I plant four stops along the way. Turtle Rock. Billy Goat's Bridge, Ship Sea Landing, and finally, Old Lug. Okay, everyone, I announce. While you're walking, think of one really good thing you want to remember from last year. We hike quietly while everyone thinks. When we get to Turtle Rock, I find four stones that can write and give one to each person. Okay? What good thing did you remember? Link goes first. He writes B-U-S on Turtle Rock. I learned how to ride the bus by myself, he says. And it's really cool. I can go anywhere. Then Dad gets up. He scratches the letters K-O-R-O-S-T-Y-S-H-E-V on the rock. This year, Grandpa and I went to Ukraine. We visited the little village where he grew up. It's a trip that I'll always remember. Mom goes next. She uses her stone to draw a picture of a lady with long hair. I made a new friend this year, she says. She means Paula, who is also a writer. We help each other write and read each other's work and talk about books. I'm so grateful for Paula. When it's my turn, I can't decide between my bike and knitting. Finally, I draw a picture of my bike. This year, I learned to ride a two-wheeler. I say, hooray! Then we stand up and look at what we've written. Together, we shout, amen. Dad scoops up some water from the gurk. Gling Creek and splashes it over Turtle Rock to erase our writing. Take only pictures, leave only footprints, he reminds us. Our next stop is Billy Goat's Bridge, I announce. When we get there, find something that represents what you want to throw away from last year. Start thinking. On the way to Billy Goat's Bridge, we search the woods for something to throw away. 
by the time we get there, we each have something in our hands. We sit down and start explaining. Dad holds up a, an acorn cup that looks like a tiny mouth. I want to throw away saying bad things about people, he says. You once said Mr. Frischberg looks like a frog. I remind him exactly that admits as he throws the acorn cap over the bridge. Lincoln goes next. I want to throw away being mad at Steven Pinker. He broke my calculator, but it was really an accident. Steven has red hair, so Lincoln throws a handful of red maple leaves into the water. Then it's mom's turn. I want to get rid of the habit of saying yes when I really mean no. That's very hard for me. I'll agree to go to lunch with Abigail when I really need to work. She throws a Y-shaped twig into the falls and waves goodbye to yes. When it's my turn, I say, I had a hard time Making friends at camp last year, I want to throw away being so shy. The rock I toss into the creek looks like a bunkhouse. Well, to me, anyway. There is one more thing to do before we leave Billy Goat's Bridge. I take out the bread and give everyone a chunk. Quietly, we break off little pieces and throw them into the water. These stand for private things that we feel sorry about or want to get rid of in the new year. Then we stand up and took down at the waterfall together. We shouted, Amen. On to Gypsy Landing, I announced that's a big stab of rock on the other side of Billy Goat's Bridge. When we get there, I tell everybody to think about one thing they promised to do in the coming year. While everyone's thinking, I gather some twigs and spell out the four numbers of the new Jewish year on the highest part of the rock. Now, take off your shoes and socks. I tell them, when you make your promise, dip one foot in the stream and make a footprint on the new year rock. I vote to put all our family photos into albums, Mom says, dipping her foot in the cold stream. I promise to keep visiting Archie Mizzle in the nursing home, Lincoln says, even though my bar mitzvah project is officially over. His family lives in Mexico, so he never gets visitors. I vote to start making chala every Thursday night, Dad announces. He hops across Gypsy Landing on one foot and makes a footprint facing the new year. When it's my turn, I put both feet into the water to make two wet prints. I'm going to wake up early so I can get to school on time. Then we all stand up and look at our footprints. Together we shout, Amen. Last stop is Old Log. I say, follow me. When we get there, Link empties his backpack. We all straddle fat Old Log. Dad takes the pocket knife and cuts apple slices for everyone. I open the jar of honey and we pass it around. Eating apples dipped in honey symbolizes the sweetness of the Jewish New Year. We recite a special Catholic prayer that mom wrote. God, we have thrown out our mistakes and regrets, and we have picked the best things from the year to keep with us. Help us start over. Help us remember our vows and promises. And protect us this whole long year. Then we all stand up and look at each other. Together we shout, Amen. The end. So that's really a good thing.
mm, taking away those bad habits and maintaining your best practices and starting a good year. All right. So thank you for listening. I hope to see you soon. Bye.